Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's Tom over at Gas. Today in the workshop we've got a Mercedes C-Class. It's the W204 chassis. It's coming with an engine light. So as you can see, just the engine management light on. So for this video, we're going to be trying out a new OBD scanner we got sent out to review. So this is a King Bolan YA100. So we'll open it up and we'll see what's inside the box. So in the box, We've got the unit itself, which looks nice and simple. We got an up and a down, a return and an OK. Just check the length of the lead. So yeah, good size lead with that. Yeah, it feels nice. Also in the box we've got the quick start guide. Uh, just tells you how to connect the tool, uh, tool menus, diagnostic functions. But yeah, we'll give it a go on this Mercedes. And we'll see what it reads. So we'll just get the OBD reader plugged into the OBD port. And we'll turn our ignition on. And already the units come, come alive. Like I say, a nice long lead stand up and use it outside the vehicle which is nice so main menu we've got diagnostic DTC lookup uh, we've got voltage test so we go on there we're showing 11.5 volts so that is our battery voltage it's nice to know and then we've got options and about but like I say it's got an engine light on so we'll go up to diagnostic we'll press OK and already it's detected, yep, mill state is on. So it's telling us that we've got an engine light on, which we know. Uh, we've got one fault code in there. Ignition type compression engine, this is a diesel. Yeah, really easy to use so far. So what we'll do is we'll go on to DTC count. We'll select OK and then we've got read codes, arrays, live data, freeze frame, vehicle information. So we just want to be seeing what the fault code is for now. Then we've got stored codes or pending or permanent. So first we'll just go for stored. And then we've got exhaust gas temperature sensor, sensor one. So yeah, straight straight to the fault there. We'll go on pending codes. Same again, and then we'll go permanent. So there's no permanent codes, but we've got a stored code for the exhaust gas temperature sensor. So what we do, we'll go back, we'll have a look at the other functions on the tool. So we can erase the codes. Uh, we've got some live data, so I'll just go into that. So like I say, we can see Diagnostic trouble count. Uh, we've got the mill status indicating there's a fault. This is on. Uh, we've got engine speed on there. Map sensor, uh, MAF sensor, intake air temperature sensor. So yeah, we've got some good options on there. We got the power again. But now that's really nice and easy to use. We can look up the diagnostic trouble codes. So we've got all our brands on there. Alpha, Audi, Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Chrysler, Citroen. Yeah, good list on there. So if we just try it out for now, we'll go into Mercedes. Oh, and then, like I say, you can enter your P code, your U code, your C code. 
Yeah, first impressions, really nice, really easy to use. Like I say, we've got an engine light on. I've just grabbed this quick. Within no more than 20 seconds, we've managed to get the fault code. So yeah, definitely be using that again. So our fault code was the exhaust gas temperature sensor one, which is located underneath the airbox. So I'll go ahead, I'll get that changed now quick, and then we'll come back to the OBD reader and then we'll erase the fault codes on it. So we've got the new exhaust gas temperature sensor fitted. There's one we keep in stock. I've tested the old one, it is got an open circuit. So we fit that. We'll just grab the King Bolin YA100 again, the OBD2 scanner. Uh, we plug it into the vehicle, ignition on, straight on, and we'll go into diagnostic again. Picks it up really quick, and then we'll go to our diagnostic trouble codes. And then what we'll do now is we'll erase them. DTCs have been cleared. We'll go back to read codes. There we go to pending codes, no pending codes. And then we'll just exit the vehicle. We're definitely impressed with that bit of kit. And that is only £23 on Amazon. Nice unit, easy to use, very handy to keep in the car. Like I say, you got some live data on there, you can read codes, clear codes. And all in all, it's a nice little OBD2 scanner, so definitely be using that again. So I'll leave a link in the description. Like I say, £23, we've diagnosed our fault, found out what the fault is, tested the part, found the fault faulty, so definitely worth its money already. And £23. You can't go wrong with that. So I just want to say a big thanks to King Boland for sending that out, letting us review their tool. And yeah, definitely be using that again. So thanks for the tool. And uh, like I say, get on Amazon, £23. Definitely worth its money. If you're in the market for a cheap OBD uh, code reader, definitely recommend that one. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And we'll see you on the next one.